Hey, this is Max, and this is another middle-aged Jewish lady life hack. This time, I want to tell you all my hair care secrets. I always get a lot of questions. I always have. I'm very blessed. Kanahora. I've got Jewish hair, and this is how I take care of it. Well, first of all, I can't shampoo it every day because it would dry it out, and it would turn into a ginormous Brillo pad. So what I do is I'll shampoo it really heavily once a week, and that's tonight, so I just shampooed it. And what I do before I shampoo it is I will run white vinegar through it, and I keep a small bottle in the shower, a used shampoo bottle, and just kind of keep this under the sink. This is Costco size vinegar, of course, because I'm a middle-aged Jewish lady and I rinse all this dreck out of my hair once a week because every day I put this leave-in conditioner in it just to kind of keep it manageable and just to kind of be able to comb through it. My hair is so thick and so heavy I can only comb through it when it's wet because it breaks things. It breaks combs and brushes and things and again Kanahora it's a good thing. So when I do the white vinegar to kind of get all the buildup of this leave-in direct, what I do is I will use extra virgin olive oil, Costco, nothing fancy, and I'll run a bunch of this through my hair, comb it through, and then let it sit overnight. So here's a demonstration. So I've got, again, extra virgin olive oil, just kind of douse this all in here, run it through, comb it or brush it through all the way to the ends. And this is what keeps it, I smell like a salad, but this is what keeps it kind of manageable and, you know, shiny. Otherwise it would just look like it would be a, a complete disaster. It would be a mess. I don't use any kind of rollers or any of that stuff. I used to, but you know what? That's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm a middle-aged Jewish lady. I don't need anything fancy with my hair. So I'll put it in a ponytail and I'll sleep on it and all the olive oil will kind of make it all nice and shiny. And in the morning, I'll just rinse it out. Five minutes, comb it through, I'm good to go. So it's not perfect, but it works for me. And this is, again, my middle-aged Jewish lady life hack on how I manage my Jewish hair, and I hope it helps somebody.